Hello everyone, my name is Tommy Dobbs and today we're going to be talking about crash symbols. There are three main crashes that I like to teach, soft, repeaters, and cadential crashes. Before we dive in to the actual crashing of the symbols, let's talk about grip and how to hold them. I should say this, before I get started there are many different ways to hold the symbols. I'm going to show you my way and as you develop your own style, feel free to change it however you want. First things first is making sure you have control over the instrument. These are heavy pieces of metal, by the way. So the first thing I like to do is keep things simple. I'm going to refer back to the way I teach snare drum grip. The first joint of our index finger is where the strap will lay, just like so. Then I'm going to take the fingerprint of my thumb and place on top, just like snare drum grip. The other fingers are just kind of holding onto the strap and keeping things supported. So it would look like this with the tip of my thumb going into the dome of the cymbal. If you're trying this at home right now, it's probably a little painful. That's just because you're getting started. Some players put their thumb off to the side, but this way, for you younger players, you have complete control of the instrument. Then we just match it. And here you go. All right, let's dive into some crashes. But before I pick up this instrument, I want to demonstrate without. You can follow along at home like this. First things first, our feet are going to be shoulder width apart, knees bent, arms and shoulders nice and relaxed. Then we're going to match our grip like we did before. We're going to lay the strap over the first joint of our index finger. Then we're going to take the fingerprint of the thumb and squeeze down, just like snare drum grip. Then we're going to take the tip of the thumb and place it into the dome of the cymbal. We match it with the other hand. We lift the cymbals off the table. Once they're off the table, they're perpendicular to the floor, and, but they're also parallel to each other. No space up or down, nice and parallel. Then we're going to make our left hand stationary, and our right hand is going to slowly come in contact with the left. The longer you hold the right to the left, the more of a sizzle sound will happen. The quicker you do it, the more of a light crash will happen. All right, let's pick up the cymbals and give it a shot. All right, I now have the cymbals in my hand and I'm gonna give these soft crashes a shot. So before I pick them up, like I said before, we're gonna have them perpendicular to the floor and parallel to each other with no symbol higher or lower than the other. One more pro tip for you. I close one eye and I look in between the two symbols to the floor. When I do this, I can actually see all aspects of the symbol as they come in contact with the other. Just a little pro tip for you. Let's give it a shot. And there we go, some soft crashes. Best of luck.